Alright, welcome back. So we saw earlier that um, we did our character movement. But, you know, when we let go, let's say we're going to the left side and let go, it always idle downward. So how do we change it so that it idle the direction we last moved in? So we need to use the variable to tell them that. Alright, so why don't we go back to our logic statement. So we can see that you know, if the player is not moving, then we're going to idle downward. But, you know, it really depends, right? Like, if the player is not moving, like, actually we want to do this. If the player is not moving and last direction is down, then we move downward, right? We idle downward, sorry. So, what about the left side? So if the player is not moving and the last direction is left, then we do either left. Make sense, right? Okay, why don't we put one in here? At the event, if the player... Uh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Before we do that, we actually need to change this, right? We need to add a condition to see where it moved, which direction it moved last time. But how do we know? Well, we need to use a variable. So click here, add global variable, and why don't we call this direction? And the, the type is string. Remember, a string is a text. So initially, I think we're moving down. All right, that's okay. So when the game starts, the variable direction is down. Um, so what do we need is that uh, we need to change the direction when we move to a like click a, move to a certain direction, right? So let's add an action here. So when the so basically when the player is moving downward, we set the animation to walking down, and we want to do this. Go to system, and then we want to set this value to a global variable. So the variable is direction. We set that to down earlier, right? So when it is moving down, we want to set the direction to down. Can you guess what direction we want to set it when we're walking up over here? All right, so when the player is walking up, it's moving upward, we want to set the animation to walk up and we want to change the uh, value of the direction variable to up. And we can do the same thing for left and right. You can also just copy and to paste it, you actually have to click here, paste, paste, move it down here, and then you can say, what we do, left. So when you're moving left, you want to change the variable to left. Uh, and when you're moving right, change the direction variable to right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so now we need to edit the not, not moving. Okay, so if the player is not moving, and we want to add an i condition. And if the variable, uh, wait, okay. If the direction variable is equals to down. Okay, so if both of these are true, it's going to do this. If the player is not moving and direction is down, we're going to set the animation to idle down or idle down. That makes sense, right? And uh, and then if we're moving left, if the direction is left, we want to do idle left. But remember, we don't have idle left anima animation, so let's add that here. Why don't we add all of them here? Right click, import frames from strip. Go back to the idle. So the, we did idle down, we need to do idle left. Remember, speed is seven, loop it. This is idle, left, new animation, idle, right, right click, go from strip, uh, right here, idle right, loop, seven, and then the last one is idle up. Where is up? Up is there. Alright, so 
So why don't we make this a little bit organized? We can group this like this. So we have idle down, up, left, right, walk down, up, left, right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so so this statement is good. When the player is not moving and the direction is down, we want to idle down. And copy. And then let's paste a new one. What if the direction is left? Well, if that's true, then we want to idle left. Let's give this a try. So we went down, left, all right, right. Ah, but now you see a problem here. We did not set the condition of what happened if the uh, if we are not moving and the last direction is up or right. We did not set that here. So that's why I just repeat whatever happened previously. So basically we have to keep doing this. Uh, do it for all four of them. All right. So, but you would think that let's let's here let's write a little, write our code a little bit more efficiently. You can see these are pretty much the same, right? The not moving part is same. So it's like, basically, what we have to do is like do this four times, like such, and it is very not efficient. To program this way because if this condition if the player is not moving if this is true all the time we don't need to compare to statement it's just inefficient so how do we make this a little bit more efficient well we can do this we can do a nested if statement i don't know if you remember we talked about this in class earlier but if the player is not moving all right so if this statement is true then we can move on to the next if statement. Then if the last direction, well actually I just call it direction. If direction is down, then yeah, then we will set animation to more idle down. Right. All right, the next thing you gonna do, if the direction is up, then we can set the, the animation to idle up. We can do left here. And here, for the right. So this is a nested if statement. So you can see, if this statement is true, then you move on to the second if statement, second, third, fourth, fifth if statement. If the first one is not true, you're not going to do any of this. So that will save the computer a lot of time. It's a lot more efficient if you do it this way. So let's remember what we're doing here. Keep it to the format. If the player is not moving, then if the direction is down, we will set the animation to other down. Okay. And then you can say if the player is not moving then if this is false we go to the next one if the direction is up we'll set the animation to moving up all right basically go through all this if the first statement is true and this is a um a way to compare two statement but a lot more efficiently so how do we do this here huh. okay so why don't we start delete these two you can just click and delete so we do we can add event we say if the player is not moving, that's our first condition. We'll invert this. Okay, if the player is not moving, if the player is not moving, then we will move on to our sub condition here. Right click here. Uh, it's actually called a sub event. So let's call add a blank sub event. So this will only get executed if this statement is true. So if the player is not moving. All right, then what's our next statement? Then if the system variable, uh, it's actually a global variable, compare the value. If the direction is equals to down, then we are going to set the player's animation to idle down. All right, cool. Next, 
we'll right click here again. Oops. Yeah, well, you have to select, right click, maybe over here. Oh. Okay, well, it appeared that you have to click over here. Anyway, so click on this, right click, add a blank sub event. Oh no, that's a sub of this, no. <laughs> okay, right here. Right click this, add sub, uh, blank sub event. Okay, so this is our first sub event. If the player is not moving and the direction is down, we'll set the animation to idle down. All right, so next we're gonna do, if the if direction is equals to up, we're going to set the player animation to idle up. And then we'll do the same thing with left and right, but to save time, I'm just gonna copy and paste, like such. Yeah, okay. Remember, we need to, it need to go under this bracket right here. So if this is true, then do everything inside this bracket. Okay, so we did down, up, we're gonna do left. So if the direction is left, we're gonna change the animation to idle, left. And if the direction is right, we're going to change the animation to either right. All right, let's try this. Up, down, left, right. Awesome. All right, cool. Now we can actually go around the map and it behave, starting to behave like an RPG game, right? Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we're gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, what are we gonna do next? Uh, why don't we add an enemy next time? Okay, well, I'll see you on the next video.